everyone uh, welcome back so in this video we're going to connect two different virtual machines uh, using global virtual network peering so the first task that we're going to do is create the virtual machines and test the configurations the second one is we're going to connect using rdp the third one is we're going to test the connection and uh, the next task that we're going to do is we'll create a vnet peering between uh, core services vnet and manufacturing uh, vnet and then we're going to test the connection and then we're going to clean up the resources so let's go ahead and start so let's go ahead and create the virtual machines so in this uh, let's create the resource group that we have created previously and let us name it as dust vm1 let it be east us and uh, Azure user so oh shit let me copy the password so shit there you go so RTP and let's see the networking connections So let's go ahead and create this virtual machine. So this virtual machine is in uh, East US network, which is, uh, I think some core. Uh, yeah, the core service we need. And uh, meanwhile, let's go ahead and create another virtual machine. And let's select the same resource group and let's take it as vm2 and instead of east us let's just go and select um i think it's west central let me check the architecture that we have done in the first video so yeah it's in west europe so let's select the west europe there you go so test user everything seems fine let's go ahead and create so let's check whether the vms are being created or not refresh the first one is created uh, as you can see it's east us location and uh, the second one you can see it's west europe so let's go to the vm1 let's try to connect using the rtp download the file so yes so similarly let us go and uh, connect the vm2 so RTP download.
not sure why it's showing this uh, okay oh, it's creating okay maybe because of that okay let's okay Okay, let's go ahead and create. I think maybe because of Linux and uh, create. Okay, meanwhile, let's delete this. Since that is the Linux, uh, it's not working properly, so <laughs> I didn't check it. I was just uh, trying to complete it fast, so that's the reason I'm not uh, <laughs> focused on that thing. So let me create the other one. So here goes this one, and uh, let's make it as test VM3. And instead of Ubuntu, let's select this was a data center. Yeah, they should find. And uh, let's use the sure user. I think that should be okay. I need to change uh, East US to West Europe. There you go. Networking okay. So now let's go ahead and create. So because uh, the VM2 that we have created was Linux, it was not working properly for this uh, RDP. So that is the reason I'm just changing it to the Windows Server. Okay, great. So let's check the VMs now. So we have reopened the VM1. So we are waiting for the VM3 to deploy. Meanwhile, let us open the power shell. So we will test the connection. Let's there you go. VM three. Let me copy the password. Let's download the RTP. Connect. There you go. So now we can see we are able to connect. Let's click it. So we have VM1 and VM3. So we'll try to connect 
uh, to VM3 from VM1 and check whether uh, we are able to connect or not. VM1 here. So let's check the IPs. So we have VM1 and VM3. So let's try to connect to VM3 from VM1 so I have to change this IP so let's click enter So it started running. Let's wait for a few seconds. I think it should be done. So as you can see, it was not successful. So we have got a false uh, for this uh, connection. So now let's uh, uh, let's go to uh, try this peering concept. So we'll be using uh, VNet peering between uh, core services VNet and manufacturing VNet. So for that, let's go to the virtual networks. So here you can see there is a peering concept. So click that and add. So let us give it a name as core service peering unit to manufacturing unit. Let it be default and uh, coming to peering link. So manufacturing to net. So give the manufacturing unit here and make sure you allow this add. So once uh, this is done, you should able to connect. So instead of false, you should uh, get true. So it should be successful. Let wait. Let us wait for a few more seconds. There you go. So let's try the command again. So you can see now we have we have got true. So we can connect uh, to other virtual network using the peering concept. So I hope you guys have understood the concept of peering and how we can connect to different virtual networks. So if you have liked the video, please click like button below and if you have not subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe to my channel. Thank you guys.